My name is Ari Friedlander. I'm an associate professor at Oregon State University in the Marine Mammal Institute. In the Antarctic Peninsula, we have a, a long-term ecological research program where we're studying humpback and minke whales largely so that we can understand the threats to them from things like climate change or other human disturbances. And we use tag technology as one of the big tools to do that. The tags that we're using to study these animals, uh, they attach to the animal with suction cups. So they're non-invasive, they remain on the animal for about 24 to 48 hours. And these have a whole integrated system that measures the orientation and movement and speed of the whale underwater. As well, it has a video camera. So the things we see in the sensors, we can corroborate with video and get a better understanding of how these animals are behaving inside the Antarctic environment. For us, tags are a unique way to see below the surface and get an understanding of what these whales are doing, how they actually behave, rather than simply plotting where they are on a map and showing their distribution, we're interested in their behavior. So how often they feed, where they go, how often they rest, what depths are they feeding at, and what sorts of things are they feeding on? And all those are kind of critical questions to be able to understand the, the day in the life of a whale and then think more globally how that is being impacted by climate change. WWF is directly supporting our research by purchasing tags for us. These are an invaluable tool for us. They're absolutely critical to understand the whales and without them, we would be limited to just observations. So by purchasing these tags that we can use over and over and over again, we can really study these whales in a much more detailed way and a more meaningful way for policy. The hopes are, if we understand the needs of these animals, the critical habitat, where they have to feed, it gives us a much better idea of the places that are important for them. So policy in the Antarctic is largely driven by where you have krill predators foraging. So penguin colonies or seals, where they go, that's been in the past the justification for setting up where you have management units that uh, limit the amount of krill that you can take from a certain area. But whales were always uh, not considered in that because we didn't have the information. So now with these tags, we have that information. We can tell you where the whales are. We can tell you how deep they're feeding, where they go, and at different types of the year, different times of the year, where the animals are foraging. So we can now say, okay, this is an area where all three of the major krill predators are foraging. This is where they are in the, in the summertime. This is where they are in the fall. And we can start to be a little more dynamic about managing the resources that are down there so that there's enough for the predators.